Hi, I'm Adam with Let Us Try That. And today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy low carb keto pizza. Now before we get started, I just want to say that I'm making this video because I need to lose a few pounds and I've had good results with low carb diets in the past. This will be the first in a series of low carb and keto recipe videos that I'll be making and I'll be adding them to a playlist which will be linked below this video. So if you want some more quick, easy and delicious low carb recipes, be sure to check out that link. Now back to what this video is all about. In this recipe we're going to be focusing primarily on the pizza crust because after you have the crust you can add whatever toppings you like. To make the crust we'll need mozzarella cheese, cream cheese, almond flour, one large egg, and whatever seasonings you'd like. We'll start by preheating our oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or about 218 degrees centigrade. While the oven's heating up, we'll put six ounces or about 170 grams of mozzarella cheese, grated mozzarella cheese, into a bowl. We'll also add one ounce or approximately 28 grams of cream cheese. I went slightly over an ounce, but that's fine. And we'll add three fourths of a cup of almond flour. We'll put that in the microwave on high for about one minute. Then we'll pull it out. Stir it up. And we'll put it in for another 30 seconds. Stir it up some more, make sure everything is combined. So now we can add in an egg and any seasonings we like. I don't usually bother to measure, I just like to add in a little bit of garlic powder. and some Italian seasonings. And then we'll mix all of that together. If you have a hand mixer, you can use that. You can use a spatula. You can even just get in there with your hands and make sure everything is mixed. After everything's mixed together, we'll need to flatten it into the shape of a pizza crust. So I'm going to put down two pieces of parchment paper. And then we'll put the dough between the two pieces. And then you can either roll it out with a rolling pin or what I like to do is take a heavy pan and just push down on it and kind of wiggle around to push the dough out to the edges. You can see it's starting to get the shape of a pizza crust.
and you can push out to the edges to form a little bit of a crust around the edge. So after you smash down the dough, it'll be roughly 10 inches in diameter. Then we can just put this on top of a pizza tray or a pizza stone or whatever you're going to be cooking your pizza on and we'll remove the top layer of parchment paper. Then we want to take a fork and poke holes around the dough to try to stop it from puffing up. Now it kind of puffs up anyway in my experience but this might help a little. Now the dough is going to go into the oven for anywhere from 11 to 14 minutes. Once the dough starts to turn golden brown, it's ready to come out. Then we add our toppings and put it back in. Now we can add whatever toppings we like. I've got some no sugar added spaghetti sauce, some pepperoni, got some Italian sausage, and of course there's some more mozzarella cheese in here. You can see the crust still puffed up a little bit, but it would have ballooned up quite a bit more if we didn't poke holes in it. I didn't have quite as much mozzarella cheese grated up as I'd like, so I'm going to add a little bit more. Then I'll add my pepperoni. And finally some Italian sausage. I cooked this up earlier, so it's a lot easier that way. But again, whatever toppings you like, add whatever you want. Stick it back in the oven for five more minutes. It only needs to be in long enough to warm up your toppings and melt the cheese. Five minutes later. When it's done, just take it out of the oven, let it cool for a few minutes, cut it into slices, and enjoy your meal. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. If you try this recipe, leave a comment and let me know if you liked it. Or if you have any great recipes that you'd like to share, let me know in the comments. And remember to check the playlist in the description for more of my favorite recipes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.